Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School and uh, I decided that today we're going to have a bit of fun. I'm going to show you a tool in Photoshop called Liquify. It's used a lot by fashion photographers to shrink uh, people's size down so that they look a little bit anorexic, um, uh, bring, make the eyes a bit bigger, thin limbs and everything, but we're going to be doing it in a different way. We're going to be having fun and a big laugh at the expense of my friend here, Joey Lawrence. If you don't know who Joey Lawrence is, he's a professional photographer, uh, a prodigy actually. I love the guy. He's a great guy. He has a great technique. I invite you to read the interview I did on him and check out his portfolio. You'll be amazed. Um, and this photo actually that I took is him with a wig and a wig as chest hair as well. He's just a goofy guy and uh, we were doing our rock band shoot. I invite you to check out my rock band tutorial if you haven't seen the lighting tutorial on that. And uh, after that he wanted a few pictures just to, to goof around and I figured well since we're goofing around let's goof around with his face a little bit. So let's go straight to the liquify tool. You'll find it in the top menu here under filter and it's the third one down called Liquify. Click on that, the Liquify dialog box appears and we'll be looking at three tools in the Liquify uh, filter. The first one is called the Forward Wrap tool, the second one is called the Pucker tool and the third one is the opposite of the Pucker tool called the Bloat tool. Now let's, once you click on one of the brushes or one of the tools, uh, you can Modify the tool with the tool options box here. The first one is pretty obvious, is the brush size. The second one is the density of the brush. It uh, basically, um, uh, well let me show you instead of uh, explaining it to you, it's probably better. If the density is high up, close to 100%, almost the whole brush size will affect uh, what you do. You can see how it pushes and it's almost the whole brush size here that affects it. Um, if we bring it down, you'll see that it's just a sm more of the center of the brush that, uh, that creates the effect. So I usually keep it around oh, between 60 and 100 depending on what I want to do. And the pressure, of course, um, is just like uh, if you're using a Wacom tablet with a big pressure, you affect the, the, the file pretty, pretty strongly with a small pressure. You can see what it does, not too much. I usually keep mine depending on what I want to do in the 60s. And uh, we'll see where that takes us. Let me restore everything here. Let me zoom in on Joey's face. And uh, the first thing we're going to do, now the picture um, quality isn't that great here because I reduced it since the Liquify filter takes up a lot of juice on my CPU and uh, when I was doing it with a full res 12 megapixel file it uh, was just uh, stalling my system too much. So I want to go quickly through these with you. First uh, thing we should do I think is give him a bit of a Michael Jackson nose. How's that? So we'll use the pucker tool for that and what the pucker tool does is that it shrinks, um, it puckers everything and it brings everything back to a focal point in the middle. Let me reduce the brush size here a little bit. That's about right. And let me just click and hold. If you click and hold, you see how it's shrinking there? I'm just going to shrink this whole nose down. And there you go. Isn't that a great Michael Jackson nose right there? Now the next thing we are going to do, we're going to use the opposite tool called the bloat tool right here. And we're going to bring his eyes out because they're a bit small there. So if we were a fashion photographer, we'd probably do this. But we're not. We're just going to blow his eyes out completely. Making it look funny a little bit. Bring the eyebrows up a little bit. So again, it's just click and hold, go to a place, and you can do this. And that looks pretty good, actually. And the next tool we're going to use is the first one that I mentioned, which is the top one, which is kind of like the uh, smudge tool in Photoshop called the forward wrap tool. And what we'll do, we'll, he looks a bit serious here. Let's give him a bit of a smile here. 
Eh, not bad. Maybe a little bit more of a smile here. Hey, looking good there, Joey. Looking good. Now, I think he needs a bit of chin surgery here. His, his face not uh, pointy enough. So let me increase the brush size a little bit. That's a little too big. That's not bad. And we'll just stretch his chin down a little bit. Hey, that looks more like Joey. I think he was wearing a mask before, and this is what he actually looks like. <laughs> just kidding, my friend. All right. And this is how you would use the uh, three tools in Photoshop to have fun. So I invite you to take pictures of your friends uh, and family. Try not to take pictures of uh, people that can actually do you harm after. <laughs> and uh, try, the, try this tool out. And try all the three uh, tools from the Liquify filter. And if you want, you can post them in the Flickr group. Um, that I'll, you'll see the link at the bottom of this article. So um, have fun and uh, have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.